What's up, fight fans? This is Kurt Deville with Counterpunch Boxing News, and I have some new news concerning Teddy Atlas. Teddy Atlas states that fighter can't get an opponent because he's too good with no charisma. And he is referring to Dimitri Bivol. He said, because Bivol, he's too damn good. And you can't get rich fighting him because as much as we know him, nobody else knows him. You walk down the street, Good luck trying to find someone who can tell you who Bivol is. Good luck. Listen, he's terrific. He's one of the most complete fighters in the whole game right now. What he did with Canelo, the only travesty of that is that they actually had it a close as they did. But that's for another story with these crazy judges that we have in this business. He probably won 11 rounds against Canelo. Look, there are fighters out there that are too good for their own good because they just know how to do one thing, win and box at an incredible level. But they don't necessarily have the charisma, the factor, whether you can call it or whether you to call it to fill a lot of the seats. And if you don't have that, well, who wants to take a risk fighting a fighter that dangerous? Those are the words of Teddy Atlas, and let me counterpunch. Um, there's some truth to that. Uh, some fighters are too good for their damn good, for their own good, I think. Uh, when you do have a lot of fighters that their second language is English, and they speak English, but they're not... They, you know, Bivol's smart, you know what I mean? He speaks probably better English than like guys like Usyk, but then see, Usyk is a guy that does have charisma. He is likable. Not saying Bivol's not likable, but it's like he's unique. You know, he's unique and he's not a clown. He's not a guy. He's not a real jokester. I mean, he'll might take a call, you know, he might say a joke, but he's not like, you know, <laughs> you know what I mean? He's not that dude. But you get him in the ring, he will destroy you. Yeah, so he is too good. And I think a lot of what Teddy Atlas is saying is a guy that dangerous, a guy that good, you know, nobody really wants to get in the ring with him. But, not, but what I'm getting around to, if you have a guy like that and a talent like that, it's up to the promotion or the promoter to promote him. Okay, throw him everywhere. Get him some endorsements. You know what I'm saying? Get him on some Gatorade uh, uh, commercials or something, you know what I mean? Some, some power raid or whatever snack, you know, people need to see him. People need to, you know, interview him. He's been in interviews and stuff and he's, he's just like, he sounds, you know, he's a Russian, he's an Asian Russian, you know what I mean? Like, I don't know, you know? <laughs> so it's just like, he's a good fighter, you know, like, and, and, and he's just like, almost like, okay, well, well, okay. You know, that's him, you know, he's not going to be someone else, but the likability has to be there. And I, that's what Teddy Atlas is saying. That's what he's talking about. You know, and then then he'll box your face off and give you rapid fire uh, uh, combinations all day long, if not stop you. OK, he's not known for a power puncher, but the guy is exciting. And I think the excitement of the ring is one part of it. And I think the promotion part of it is another. And I think as long as they have certain promotional promoters that don't I feel don't really give these guys much credit or do a good job with these guys like they should. That's the reason why they're not promoted the way they are. There's a reason why the promoters are the promoters. OK, nowadays, the promoters are somewhat like the lawyers that feel all they need to do is the paperwork and have a pretty good, you know, description or a synopsis of these fighters without putting that that stank into it. That that Don King, you know, in America, baby, we got a guy. He's changing. He's rushing. He fights with punches and bunches. He will get you out of there. He'll knock you out cold. He's a, a Siberian Rocky slash Bruce Lee. He's the man you want to be. He is Demetri Bivol. You see, he's that kind of guy that he's going to show you why you should never get in the ring with him. But he's the best, and he'll get any test. Then he will beat anybody because he's absolutely the best. That type of shit, we don't have that at all. Okay, so that's what Bivol needs. Not, you know, Bivol's a good fighter, one of the best fighters in the generation. <laughs> we don't need that, Okay. We need someone that promotes Bivol because Bivol needs to be promoted because he's doing his fucking job. He's exciting. 
He throws a, a, a combinations. He is, he, he, you know what I mean? He doesn't give you like that oh, boring ass performance and one, one, two, take a walk around the park, come back, one, two, part. Oh, let me hold. No. Bivels is, is in your shit from round one to round 12. From round one to round 12. That's what he does. So it's up to the promoter, his promoter, to do his job. But anyway, you guys tell me what you think of Teddy Atlas stating that Bivol has no charisma and he's just too damn good for his own good. Of course, please subscribe. And you guys been counterpunch. Peace.